Here's the fastest way to reach Apologize in Blender. First of all, activate the B-Surface add-on. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for B-Surfaces. It's the default add-on in Blender. Take it here, and you're good. You can find it in the end panel, underneath Edit. Add a plane, and find that plane in here. Give the plane a material, change the viewport color, turn on in front, then go to the modifiers, add a mirror modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier. You can add it wherever you want, or you might not even need one, and add a shrink wrap. In the little drop down, either by click on here or hovering and pressing E, select the mesh you want to retopologize. Then go to edit mode, make sure to turn on clipping so that in the center the vertices snap together, turn on snapping, and select face snapping. Make sure project individual elements is turned on. That allows you to snap the vertices onto faces, but anywhere on a face. Then move your plane to wherever you want to begin. Click on the auto merge here. And then in the options, you might want to increase the threshold. Something like 0.1. Um, just pay attention to some areas where vertices are supposed to be very close to each other. That those don't auto merge. But what it allows you to do is if you place vertices near one another, they snap together. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Go back to 0.01. Then that should be fine. Select the polyball tool, which in my opinion is the fastest way. And as you can see, this gives you a new kind of interface. If you hover over a vertice, you can see that it's highlighted blue. If you click on it and drag, you can move a vertice. If you hover over an edge, you can see a blue line. Click and drag and you extrude. By the way, I would recommend to do this with a pen. It's better for your wrist and I enjoy it more. It's more intuitive this way. Make sure that one of your pen buttons has the middle mouse click on there just so that you can move around like you would normally. In order to create a new face from a corner, hover over the corner, hold control. As you can see, it, sh it shows a preview to generate a new face. Click release control so the snapping is turned on again and drag. Just so you know, if you hold control while you have snapping on, it's temporarily turned off and the other way around as well. If snapping is turned off and you hold control, it's temporarily turned off. You can also hold control over any edge and you can see that it creates a triangle. Just do this twice and you have a new face. In order to remove vertices or faces, you hover above them, press shift, click and you remove. Easy peasy, right? I have one more handy add-on that I use. It's called Mirror Tools and I don't use all its features, but the most important one that I use is this topology circles. Just get yourself a circle. I am temporarily turning snapping off so that it can move the circle wherever I want it to be. Just scale it however you want it, place it, duplicate it, make another one. You can also have multiple in a row, rotate, select both of them, Click Retopo Loops and done. Mirror Tools is not a Blender default add-on, but you can get it for free. If you want to install the add-on, just download the zip file, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click on Install, find your zip folder, activate it, and then you got it. This is just really easy, gives you a little pop-up window in which you can change the settings however you want. I use it mostly for the limbs. You can use it for some other parts as well, although I recommend it for the limbs. Then just join the things together and done. And one last thing, if you want to display the wire of your retopology mesh, just go to the code to edit, B-surfaces, display wire, boom. You don't need to turn on the wire from here, because this way you won't see all the faces of your scalp. It's much cleaner, much prettier. And the B-Surfs add-on just puts all the Blender internal features into one panel, which stays there. Even if you click on something else, they'll have all the options in here. In my opinion, this is the fastest way to retopologize in default Blender. If you know any other ways, any other tricks, then feel free to share them in the comments. And I have one last little trick to share, because if you're able to model this fast, you likely might have a bit of a messy topology. So let me just quickly uh, create some more faces here. Imagine you place the viruses a little bit random, not evenly distributed, a little bit scuffed. Just add some more demonstration purposes. What you can do now is go to sculpt mode, select the side relax, hold down shift in order to activate the smoothing, and then just go over it while holding shift. You can see that I messed up here. Need to snap this together, go back to sculpt mode, hold down shift, et voila. This just evenly distributes the topology without destroying the shape of it. And this is, in my opinion, the fastest way to retopologize instead of default Blender. No paid add-ons needed. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. If there's any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I would appreciate if you liked the video, maybe even subscribe. That would really, really help me out. And if you want to see any other sections of Blender, feel free to let me know as well. I'll make sure to respond to almost all of your comments. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye bye.